Welcome to using Cisco Unified Intelligence Center CUIC 11.5. This video on report thresholds, filters and permalinks is part of a series of videos introducing CUIC 11.5. In this video, we will show you how to create report thresholds and filters in a custom report and how to associate a permalink with that report. Be sure to check out other videos in this series, which in getting started, customizing report views, user groups and permissions, using dashboards, and value lists and collections. But now let's move on and dive into COIC 11.5 and take a look at those thresholds and filters. From the COIC reports homepage, we can access the reports via the reports icon on the left hand side where we see that we've created already a custom report folder for the ACME Corporation, and we've called that folder ACME Reports. That folder contains a report that we're going to use as an example in creating thresholds and filters. Let's just take a look at a couple of those views. This is the service level view we created earlier. And if we scroll down, we'll see that there are a number of service level values that are showing up as 0%. Now, I'm not going to suggest that this is an entirely practical suggestion, uh, but what I want to do is just filter out from this report those uh, calls or those call types and calls that have this zero service level uh, result. You could, of course, filter out any value, but we'll use the zero just to get us started. So to do that, let's first close this report. We'll then go to the actions column and click edit. And here we have the editing wizard, which allows us to manage views and thresholds as well as manage these filters. So let's move through the basic. We're not going to create any new views at this time. We in fact want to work with the service level view. So we'll move right through to our thresholds uh, service. Uh, and here we uh, could create a threshold, but we'll leave that until we've done our filtering and I'll show you later on how to manage and create our thresholds. Let's for now just move on to filters. And we'll just select or maintain the filters that we have for date time. We'll work with all the call types as well. And now we get the ability to filter out those annoying zero values of service level. To do that, we simply select the field scroll down to find the field that we're interested in working with the average uh, sorry the service level my mistake and i'm going to say i want really um, to filter out anything that is zero so really, I'm just looking for stuff that is greater than 0. And I'll click Finish. Get a nice little green box with a, with a tick saying that that was a successful uh, action, which is always a good sign. So now let's open up our service level report and the service level default view uh, and we find if we scroll down here all of those annoying zero values of the service level have gone so that's just a quick illustration of how you might use the filter um, process within cuic to drill down i guess into uh, reports that are of interest to you or perhaps more accurately to eliminate those values that are not so interesting to you. Let's now look at thresholds and see how we might manage those. And for that, I'll open up another 
view of this report. This time, call volume report. Notice in this call volume report, we're just uh, simply um, gathering data on the amount, number of calls answered, calls handled and calls offered against a particular call type. Now this might be useful to examine these volumes uh, in case you want to sacrifice some dialed numbers perhaps, um, um, stop looking at scripts that don't do that much activity and concentrate on those call types or scripts that do. So let's look at our calls answered here uh, and we, we'll see that they range from say 3, 4, 1. There's not a lot of data in this report because this is a lab environment and we haven't generated a great deal of data. But I'm going to uh, suggest that if a call, the calls answered is less than 2, uh, then I'm going to be a little bit concerned about whether or not that uh, call, the the exchange lines, etc., are giving me good value. Between two and five, I'll say that that's perhaps orange because maybe they're okay, maybe they're not. And in, uh, in uh, greater than five, uh, then I'm going to say that they are uh, they are fine, and that's a report and a and a, um, a line that I should be uh, quite interested in. So to manage that, let's go to our tools. Look at manage thresholds. We're going to create a new threshold and we're going to assign these thresholds to the call types field. But we're going to examine the calls answered field. And the first one we're going to say is if the value is less than two. Okay, we're getting just one call at a time. Uh, we're going to say that that's a worry. Let's put a second threshold in here. And now let's say that the calls answered is between two and say five. They're perhaps worth looking at, but not quite as serious as those very, very low volume calls. Now let me save this at this time and just point something out on that report. I'll click Save. And you'll notice here that those thresholds have in fact been applied so that where the calls handled are less than two, and in other words just one call has been handled or answered, then we're going to look at that in red and say that's a critical line, maybe we need to do something about that. For those that are a little higher than that, uh, we'll look at uh, orange. There are also those call types which are outside both of the thresholds. Now, there are only a couple of them here, so they're fairly easy to spot. But imagine, if you will, a large report with hundreds of entries. You might only want to look at those entries with thresholds, not the ones that have escaped the threshold so far. We can just click this button. and see only those thresholds. So again, it's another convenient way of determining uh, just what you want to look at on the report. OK, so let's go back and complete our threshold management because we want to add that third threshold also with calls answered. Now looking at something that is going to be greater than five and in this case we're saying they're good to go require no further investigation job done so let me click done and save and now we see those thresholds being properly applied and recorded on the call types field against thresholds which we set to the calls answered so both filters and thresholds are quite simple to apply, but very effective in the ability to 
look and study at a report. And the bigger the report, of course, the more valuable this will be. Finally, let's look at permalinks and see how we might associate either of these reports with a permalink. We'll use the service level report since we're uh, the call volume view of the service level report since we're already here. So let me close this report. Look at the actions and scroll down to permalinks. And we want to look at this call volume view. And we'll just create an Excel permalink. Notice automatically the URL is populated. If I just copy that and paste it into my colourful desktop, click enter. And that report is rendered, including the thresholds that we created. Permalinks, of course, are URLs that you can send to a non-COIC user to provide direct access to that report. We used an Excel example here, but of course, as you saw, we could use HTML or XML. Let's just try an HTML just to see what that might do as well. We have a different URL, so let me copy that and paste that into the desktop as well. And so therefore, there you have, have that report rendered in HTML format. So that's about it for thresholds, filters and permalinks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos in this series.